Yellow Jacket men's basketball hitting the road for a long non-conference trip this week. Three games, Preston. Uh, coming off a couple of tough losses last week, but some things that the team's really improved on uh, on the defensive end. Talk about uh, the play there. Yeah, I feel like our defense is, has definitely been there all throughout the season so far. We started to pick up our intensity like this last week, and um, so I think our defense overall is just getting better, and uh, it's just more of us. We're getting the stops. It's just on offense. We just got to execute and make the shots that we're getting wide open looks, but we just got to execute on L. Team has been slumping a little bit in the shooting department, as you just mentioned, but you uh, had a couple of great performances on the offensive end, most recently 25 points, 14 rebounds against Cal State East Bay. Talk about what was working for you. You were taking the ball uh, inside strong and shooting it well from the arc. Yeah, I just feed off my teammates and feed off everybody's energy. So, I mean, yeah, I would just try to go to the rack and then whatever, if I had the open, open three, then I was going to shoot on the perimeter. But, you know, it just... I'm just let try to let the game come to me for the most part, and then, and towards the end of the game, I just felt like we needed somebody. We needed to step up and try to get the ball in the basket to to get the game unwraps. But, you know, unfortunately, that didn't happen. But I feel like, you know, we we're definitely capable of. We just got to close out these these tight games at the end. You mentioned to me that this is a young team still moving forward. You're a young player, a sophomore, but you're being relied on as a leader. Talk about how you're starting to grow into that leadership role as a sophomore. Yeah, definitely. That's what I was going to say is we're, we're, we're fairly young. We've got three fresh, well, two freshmen and a sophomore. So, I mean, even myself being a sophomore, but I've been around here for a year now, and I know what the GNAC is like. So I definitely want to take, you know, Ryan, Cinco, Fees, those guys kind of under my wing and then show them the ropes. I feel like all three of those guys can be great players. They just, they just need to get uh, more play it, throughout the season. They'll get more comfortable. So I just kind of want to take them under my wing. Talk about your mindset heading into this week. You have three games uh, on the road. Head to Shadron State first on Tuesday evening, and then a couple games in Colorado. Yeah, this trip is definitely crucial for us. You know, with, with the loss to East Bay, I feel like we just got to keep our heads up and uh, on this trip. You know, keep playing the same defense that we're playing, and then we just got to knock down the shots that are given to us. But you know. I just feel like you know I'm gonna come in there and just do whatever I can in my power to help us get this trip going, like get the wins on this trip, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, we've played pretty solid defense most of the year. Obviously, uh, the, you know, it's just it's a situation right now offensively. It's it's been a struggle. Um, you know, going back watching a lot of film, you know, we're doing some really good things energy-wise, defensively, following game plans, um, making it tough on teams. You know, especially last week. Um, we we just um, offensively we can't we can't get a rhythm we've you know we're not scoring at a rate uh, you know you're just we're not scoring and um, you know watching film we we feel good about some of the looks we're getting um, and and you know the the thing is we're going long droughts we've gone we're going long you know we're having these long scoring droughts and uh, and that's tough to do so um, that, you know we're gonna keep working go back to practice and, and, and get energized and, and uh, you know we, we just want the guys to play loose and free uh, that you know their effort defensively has been fantastic we just got to get the offense going talk about one individual who did stand out offensively in both games Preston Beverly um, just a, a monster effort on Saturday against Cal State East Bay he's really stepping into more of a leadership role this year well yeah you know I you know, anytime a guy gets uh, half of half of your points, it, it's either really good or, or unfortunate for him. It was I thought Preston was really good. He obviously, he had 25 of our 50 points the other night. He had 14 of our 33 rebounds. Um, so, so he he played he played pretty well. He he can still play better. He can still play harder defensively at times. Um, uh, yeah, but but he's he played really well. Obviously, without him, who knows where we'd have been the other night. But. Uh, yeah, yeah we, we hopefully he can continue to do that, and then hopefully uh, we get some uh, contributions from some of the other guys as well. Kamal Tall, another player who's really made a lot of improvements in the offseason uh, that you can see carry over. Talk about his game so far. Yeah, Kamal, he's, 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 played, uh, he's played pretty well. He's played with good energy. Um, you know, he's, his minutes aren't uh, as high as, as you would think. You know what we've what we found, especially last week, as we were playing teams that that uh, that generally go small. You know they'd start a big and then and then they'd go small, and, and a lot of times we've gone small to match them. So Kamal's minutes aren't uh, aren't aren't where they aren't where I think his numbers would really be improved had he had he had he been playing more minutes. So um, he's doing some good things. Uh, he's just got to keep getting better on the offensive end. You know he plays his role well. He's a nice screener, doing a nice job defending. 
Um, you know, we probably got to give him some more touches close to the rim, and uh, and he just needs to keep developing every day too. Looking forward to this week, three more non-conference games, and they're against teams that, for all intents and purposes, are pretty new to the program. There is some history, but uh, nothing significant in the last five years or so. Talk about facing Shadron State and then going to Colorado for a couple games. Well, you know, we're going against three RMAC teams, and so it's going to be similar to just it's going to be similar to be playing. At, at, at just, just like we're playing three GNAC teams, the RMX very good Division II conference. So, um, Shattern uh, coming, you know, they have a new coach, so new coaching staff, new players. So, so they're all new. All you know, they're everything about them is new. Um, and then, <coughs> excuse me, the two games down in Colorado. You know, we'll we'll be playing against uh, you know very solid Division II teams, and and uh, we're going to be on the road. This is going to be a good week for us as a team for just a chance to be together. Uh, you know, we're going to be on the bus for, for, for a rare, t rare trip. And, and uh, you know, we get a chance to play three games, get a chance to spend Thanksgiving together. So um, this will be a nice week to, to build. And, and this is really all preparation. And, and the, the, the preparation is for December 3rd. And that's when we play our, uh, our first home GNAC game, you know, a game that, that really matters. Obviously, if, you know, we have 10 games before Christmas. If I can win two, if we can win two of them, let's let's win those two GNET games. So, but this is a great week of preparation, trying to get better, um, and then trying to prepare our guys for what we know is the most important part of our schedule, which is GNET games.